In our first tutorial, we looked at inserting a video background into PowerPoint to play behind your slide content to create a more engaging and visually interesting PowerPoint presentation. In this second tutorial, we'll once again be looking at inserting video backgrounds, but this time we'll be inserting multiple videos across multiple slides to create even greater diversity in the presentation, as well as create greater individualism for each of the slides themselves. So we're in PowerPoint and we've downloaded and installed the 123 PPT Video Background Studio, which is available from the 123PPT.com website. Uh, in, and I've installed here the trial edition, which is free and available to use for 14 days. So we'll once again be using the insert video uh, wizard. And using the insert video wizard, we're able to pull up the video backgrounds which were bundled with the trial edition. Now the trial edition works the same as the standard edition, but it has several limitations. One of those is that we are limited to only being able to use the video backgrounds that are bundled with the trial edition. We can't import our own movies or, or video files for use as video backgrounds. Um, and also during playback there is a watermark uh, in the player that shows it's a trial edition we're using. Now both the limitation on importing videos and also the watermarking are removed once you purchase and license the software allowing you to use your own video files and import as many video files as you wish as well as also being able to playback presentations without any watermarking whatsoever. So there is definitely a benefit to registering the software however at this point and for the basis of this tutorial I'm really still just using the trial edition. So like we have here we have three slides and here fortunately we have three videos so we'll be importing all three of these videos to use on the three slides and show you just how simple it is to do it using this tool. One of the benefits of the 123 PPT Video Background Studio is that it allows you to preview and view each video background before you even use it. So for example we can press the play button, we can double click the video and we can see the video full screen exactly how it looks and how it will behave inside PowerPoint. So this is very handy, for example, if you have purchased and licensed your software and you've imported many hundreds uh, or even thousands of your own video clips. The ability to see them and view them this way makes it a lot simpler to use and select the right videos in your presentations. So we'll be selecting each of these three video files for use in this presentation tutorial and we'll click Next. Once again, as in the first tutorial, we won't be looking at the extended features and functionality of the Video Background Studio which allows us for example to change the colour of a video in real time as well as just speed and transparency etc. We'll be removing this for now and simply focusing on the ability of importing and using multiple videos across multiple slides. So selecting each of the videos we uncheck the backdrop functionality so we see the video exactly as it is without any effects applied to it and then we click the next button. In the assigning of slides uh, screenshot we can see that we have the three slides and we have our three videos and quite simply you can for example select slide one, movie one and assign it like this, slide two, movie two, assign it like this, slide three, movie three sign it like this. Or for example, if I just undo this, you could for example take slide 1 and you can drag it and drop it onto for example video 3. You could take slide 3 and drag it and drop it onto for example video 1. So there are many many ways and many useful and user-friendly features to this. But in this case, just to simply show you as demonstration, we'll take one on each video. Clicking finish we can see that each of the slides has now been given a video. If we go to the 123 PPT play and share and press the play from beginning we can now see the presentation play full screen full motion at 25 frames per second. So once again it's creating a stunning PowerPoint presentation and if we move through the slides we can see the text is perfectly anti-aliased. We can see the video is playing in the correct aspect ratio and at 25 frames per second. 
Now this is one of the most amazing things about the 123 PPT Video Background Studio because there is another product on the market called Crystal Graphics Video Player and the Crystal Graphics Video Backgrounds Player does not allow your video to maintain its aspect ratio so the video distorts and stretches when you play it full screen. Another disadvantage of the Crystal Graphics solution is that it's not able to play back video higher than 800 by 600 pixels um, in, in screen resolution. Now this is of course really frustrating if you're sitting with a HD screen or a higher definition monitor because your video really does appear blocky and fuzzy. Using the 123 PPT Video Background Studio you can actually import video up to HD quality and it will play back at the same quality so it actually allows you to import and use HD video and play back HD video whereas the crystal graphic solution as I say is limiting you to just 800-600 resolution also the 123 PPT solution maintains its aspect ratio in addition it remains crystal sharp anti-aliasing round text the crystal graphic solution doesn't do this it's actually very blocky and it creates very distorted text which once again stretches and distorts with the video. So I haven't looked at the Crystal Graphics solution to provide a tutorial because in all honesty it doesn't provide professional results so I don't think it's worth us looking at that as a viable alternative to the 123 PPT Video Background Studio because in all honesty it really isn't an alternative. So completing the presentation we could now for example go back to the 123 PPT Video Background Studio functionality and if for example we selected Edit Slide Video we could take the blue movie reels and let us say we now wanted to take this video and apply it to all the slides we could simply just select apply to all and all our slides are now using this video that's how simple it is to apply a video background to an entire presentation and once again if we go back to the play and share functionality and press from beginning we can see that the playback of the video is not only full screen and full motion at 25 frames a second but also that the video themselves are seamless loops so you cannot see the end or the beginning of the loop they play seamlessly which is fantastic for viewing because it, you remove any annoying jerks or pauses or interruptions in the video footage itself another fantastic advantage of the 123 PPT video background studio is that when I move from one slide to another for example now to slide 2 you'll notice that the video itself doesn't pause or stop or rewind and play from the beginning if I move to slide 3 now you'll see the video play seamlessly through each of the slides so that it appears as a totally seamless transparent presentation that is looking more like television than a PowerPoint presentation again that's a huge advantage over the crystal graphic solution which when you move from slide to slide the video stops and then rewinds and plays from the beginning so it's extremely annoying to watch one of the presentations made using the crystal graphic solution because it really isn't seamless and it's just a collection of stop start events so that is a small brief tutorial into installing and inserting and playing back video backgrounds across multiple slides uh, using multiple videos across multiple slides showing you how simple it is to do that using for example the 123 insert uh, video backgrounds wizard we can once again quickly for example select all videos once again disable the function ex extended functionality and for example this time let us say we take the green curtain for slide one and let's say we take it also for slide two we could then take for example slide three for the orange video background so this time we've selected all our videos but we're only using two of them because we've changed our mind during the installation process that we only now want to use these two videos and in this order and if we click finish you'll see that's what we've got slide one and slide two are now using the green video and slide three the orange and playing this back once again we can see as we move from slide one to slide two the video is seamless it doesn't stop it doesn't pause once again completely transparent so that's my second tutorial of using the 123 PPT video background studio and 
inserting multiple videos across multiple slides.